G'day, La. Welcome back to Razor TV. <laughs> That was uh, not Arabic, but... Yeah, that was Scouse. Uh, Liver- Scouse. Liverpudlian. <laughs> in my dictionary. Uh, Scouse, you know, Possibly. because of our Liver- Liverpudlian friend from Liverpool. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> didn't know. But yes. Uh, can you imagine if the Beatles actually sang in Scouse? How would they sound like? Uh, like the Beatles. <laughs> they still would sound like... Yeah, they still... <laughs> Do you think they still would have sold as much? Ah, uh, they probably would be the sorry state of our team right now. Anyways, oh, yes. Yes. we were on the question of who will win the EPL. Doesn't yes. wouldn't you want to know? I would, especially if you bet on soccer. Well, okay, uh, especially if we do bet in soccer, I definitely would want to know. We were talking about Chelsea. I think Chelsea's going to win. Mm. Um, you thought last week Chelsea's going to win. Mm. Who do you think is going to win? The uh, I can easily see. Let me predict. Your crystal ball is yeah. telling you. Man United. Man United? I, I think just unstoppable. Really? Yeah. Okay. Man U. Yeah, cameraman, happy. Man okay. U. Man, man, man U. Oh, yeah, you're a Man U. Okay. Man U. Well, uh, we actually went out into the streets to find out, especially if you bet on soccer, mm-hmm. who people have their money on to win the EPL. Let's take a look. Um, Casey. What's their chance of winning? 100%. I would say... What about their chances of bringing home the trophy ultimately? For this year, this season, a bit tough. Because uh, Chelsea is coming up. Chelsea also got good players also. Arsenal also there. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe all the best to them. Oh gosh, I couldn't tell you. I don't think I watched enough of it to... <laughs> I think uh, Manu. I think they just signed Berbatov, so okay. it's pretty good, so I guess, yeah. Okay. I think uh, they were saying that Arsenal has a very young team. Ronaldo still in Manu, right? Uh, they have a good chance. Uh, they're a very classy team. Chelsea tries too hard. Okay. And uh, it's takeaway, huh? And um, yeah, they like use their money to, to buy all the good players. So. But they have a good chance huh, because of this. Who has a bigger chance, Chelsea or Manu? Maybe Manu. Uh, 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 yeah, so the guy was actually saying, you know, gambling is bad for you. Yeah. So, yeah. You get people in the trouble. He's trying and to give you the brush off. <laughs> yes. I said that he's walking straight to a Singapore Pools outlet. We probably never know. The probably. Who is betting on anyway. Mm. Exactly. So, you have your money on menu, I'm guessing? Uh, I think so. Probably. Unless they have a major slip up. I think it's Man U's year again. I think it's Chelsea's though. Okay, yeah. but um, you were you were talking to us about all of uh, the Chelsea buys. Yeah. Right. And uh, what about Man U? Yeah, I think uh, what could turn it around for Man U, and you know, it's interesting that Johnny Bob says this, but if they can get uh, Dimitar Berbatov uh, in. I'm not sure whether they can do it before Over from then. your team? Yeah. You know? I, I mean, are you okay with okay. losing him? I mean, he is a good player. The reason why I'm going for Chelsea to win the title is because of this. Liverpool took Robbie Keane from Spurs. Yes. And they're destined to be cursed for the rest of the season. Yeah, you can have him back if you want. And... <laughs> yeah, we... we <laughs> yeah, well. Full refund. <laughs> and Berbatov goes over and then I think Manu will be cursed as well. But anyway, I think, right, if you look at it, Berbatov by himself is a player. He's a target man. He's, I think, the closest they've got to Ruud Van Nistelrooy. Okay. Really. And uh, you look at his rec- scoring record. It's 27 EPL goals in 63 starts since arriving two years ago from Germany by Leverkusen. That's really good. Dude, the guy scored 73 goals when he was nine for futsal. Yeah. So, mm. okay, he's the kind of target man that Man United need because they've got Wayne Rooney, and they've got Carlos Tevez, and those guys aren't exactly your target man. Exactly. You know, they are the buzzing mm. bees, you know. They'll just... The worker. Around, yeah. The worker ants. That's right. Running around. 
You, you need, need sweat, you know. Yeah, and you need a queen bee like Berbatov. He has fantastic first touch, you know, in the box. He has good height. He's good in the air. Uh, he's sharp in the box. The only thing, I mean, we've always had our suspicions about So you think it him. would be a full team after they have Berbatov? I think so. Hmm. They I just think. need that queen bee. The yeah. queen bee. And Man United, <laughs> they, 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 love, they love all these personalities. You know, they've got the Wayne Rooney. You need someone like Berbatov there, you know, all these big... Showy, bigger, yeah, flashy, yeah. You know, larger than life. They all are larger than life. I think yeah. the the menu players yeah. they tend to be a bit. Whereas mm. Chelsea, it's their managers who tend to be larger than life. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. um, some uh, someone actually True. once told me that uh, for Chelsea, one of the reasons why they always have larger than uh, life coaches is because the coaches take the heat and pressure off the team. Yeah. You know, they they take the media pressure. You know, by being such large personalities, that the players are free to do what they do best, which is play. That's do you think true. that's true? Uh, I don't know. Uh, EPL footballers all seem to draw their own fire. Mm. Apart from Liverpool players, of course, who are all well-behaved and <laughs> comparatively well-behaved. So, I don't, I don't know about larger-than-life coaches managing to take the flack off. No. But yeah, well, whoever... <laughs> whoever, <Okay>. whoever, <laughs> whoever, whatever. She's just, I'm supporting Man U. Yeah. I don't care about other people. They can yeah. just, well, whatever's happening. Whatever club Sinkang, you right? have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have my yeah. money on Sinkang. I don't I Okay, uh, we right. have two comments, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor camera man. Now, uh, Lil Kid actually says, EPL puts S lead to shame. And Sage says, says, says Harness, Shi Du Jiu Shu, if you gamble 10 out of 10 times, times you lose, lose 9 times. Yeah, so... So, maybe uh, I shouldn't like put any know. money on... on no, what, we would like to, what we would like to know right now mm-hmm. is your predictions... For the for Big it. Four. For the, mm-hmm. okay. for the Big Four. Your predictions. The okay. TNP predictions. I know well, you're pretty actually, okay. for that. Let's start with just this weekend. Because this weekend yeah. will pretty much show us what is going to happen for the rest of yeah. the EPL League, right? F- so, for... Um, this weekend, we have Liverpool versus uh, Middlesbrough mm-hmm. on Saturday. Uh, now, Liverpool versus Borough. Now, Borough has already lost. Mm. No, no, they, they won. They yeah, won. Yeah. They won. They beat Spurs. Your, yeah, your, yeah, your team. <laughs> Which I told you I was kind of half expecting because I wasn't too sure about Spurs. Okay, so how, how do you guys... What are your predictions for this? Well, I'm going to go with... Uh, due to Liverpool's... Very, very poor performance, or very Thanks. unsteady performance yes. Even though the we are first from match. Uh, one all is about as much as I think they can manage. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. I'll go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. Okay. Uh, and I've also got the tips, actually, from my colleagues. Who This is actually a, a bit of an exclusive because it comes out in the new paper tomorrow. Whoa! Whoa! You lucky people. This is well, you get TV. it here first, exactly. okay? Exactly. <laughs> you get it here straight on Razor TV. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. And uh, our top tipster, Gary Lim, has predicted a 1-0 win for Liverpool. Mm. Uh, and Brian Miller has gone with a 2-1 win for, for Liverpool. Liverpool. Same yeah. as your prediction. Same as mine. Okay. So, I, the... The scouts actually is is a bit uh, more conservative. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm saying that they were the scouts are a, a draw at best, really. Okay. I mean, even so, you are giving Liverpool half ball, uh? Yeah, if <laughs> that's how you do that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> when you, yeah, when the, you. <laughs> Liverpool just don't seem to have much of a gel together squad. You look mm. to Chelsea, everyone firing on all cylinders. Man United, even with a few key players missing. They still rumble. They still, yeah. Liverpool, if you start, I, I, I worry that they're going to start relying on Torres too much, like, uh. the, like they did with Michael Owen in the bad old days. Okay, now what I think is bad is that because of the new uh, signings, it's all Torres and Key now. Whereas mm. uh, Torres was already forming, you know, a good relationship with Gerard. Mm. You yeah. know, so like. Did you notice at all when... Um, yeah, when he got in the, each other's way yeah, and they, they blocked they the goal. Yeah, and, yeah. They, they were tripping over each other almost, yeah. I, you know? I think this takes time. I mean, when you're playing with another striker, it takes time. Sometimes there's a perfect fit yeah. straight off, you know. But sometimes this needs some time. Robbie Keane is not a stupid striker. He's I mean, not. he knows. He's and, a great player. I and I say. think, you know, the two of them may have to work on it a bit more, you know, in different games and it, will, it should come better, I think. For I, I still think they should have really made more of a play for David Villa. Okay. Really? Yeah. Bec- look, Torres and Villa have a history of playing t- together, to together in yeah. Spain. Yeah. And for a, you know, if you could have coaxed him away from Sp- a Spanish club, 
for just a few more dollars maybe. more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Instead of splurging on Keen. Well, many... splurging that much on Keen, yeah, certainly. Splurging uh, much, yeah, splurging yeah. You know, you, you could have had a an instant partnership. Yeah. Which is what Liverpool is kind of... The, Liverpool seems to have a very romanticised view of, you know, Keegan and Toshak, Keegan and Highway, that kind of... They want that kind of thing back again. And it's... Well, is it going to happen? You don't know. Well, we I have to see so it sure. tomorrow. We'll have to see. Yeah. Well, uh, Barrow, uh, Barrow has already beat Spurs 2-0, mm. right? So, um, I would have to say probably 2-1 as well. 2-1 uh, eh, for Liverpool. 2-1 so. okay. for Liverpool. Uh, okay. Only because I'm, I'm a little bit unsure about the whole, like, how they're going to work together on the mm. field. Yeah. Uh, I still think they need to work. I mean, did we all notice or not that Tars only, you know, they only scored after Keane left. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I'm hoping it's 2-1, but I, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, um, we've got yeah, moving on. Yeah, Fulham, moving on. Yeah. We've got Fulham versus Arsenal. Yes. And that's just after Saturday midnight. Singapore mm-hmm. time, that is. Um, I tell you what, I'm going for uh, an Arsenal 3 nil win over Fulham. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa, uh, that's a... Actually, that is exactly what I've got. Okay. Really? Yeah, I okay. see Fulham as the early candidates for relegation this season. Okay. okay. And Arsenal just are looking good again. All right. Okay, and your next now one, our Arsenal tipsters, is. our top tipsters, uh, Gary Lim is going for a one nil Arsenal win, mm-hmm. and uh, Brian Miller is going for a two nil Arsenal win. So okay. you can take your lead from there. You know, mm. I think if you're looking at a two nil or a three nil win, that should be good value. Yeah, I think yeah. Arsenal's definitely going to win because Fulham was mm. playing, and but Arsenal though very young team. Yeah, but they, they have all that look system. like school boys. They, they have that philosophy. I think if you really know how to play football and you you, you are the kind of player like Samir Nasri, mm. he just fits in like as though he's been there for like three years. And they just uh, yeah. they just um, signed on Silver Street. Yeah, that would so be good actually. The only old man. Yeah, from Man United. <laughs> okay. How about yeah. Wigan versus Chelsea? Okay, Wigan versus Chelsea. I'm going to go with. <laughs> 0-3 win, actually. So, I'm going for a Chelsea 3-0 win over uh, Wigan. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I, I, I think it's going to be at least 3-0. At I least, think, how, yeah. How easy is it going to be for Chelsea? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Poor old Wigan. I know, <laughs> but, yeah. And our top tipsters are also the same. Mm-hmm. You know, they're close to us. Gary Lim goes for a 2-0 win. Brian Miller goes for a 3-0 win. So, whatever so it is, just take Chelsea <laughs> on the handicap. Chelsea, yeah, <laughs> Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea okay, to win. Moving, moving on quickly. Yeah. Uh, then you. Portsmouth and Man U. Yeah, early we got Tuesday the last morning. one. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for Man United 2 1 win. It's uh, a narrow win, but. Uh, really? No, I, I, think, I think 2 1 win. And again, a narrow thing. I think Portsmouth uh, are going to surprise. This year? Yeah. This season? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I do think that they've actually improved quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Gary Lim goes for a 1 0 win, but Brian Miller is a bit more cautious 1 1. So you might want to think about that. Uh, over the next a bit of a, a close match thing, so you know, if yep. you really have to bet, maybe not that match. Yep, that's right. So there you have it, the predictions exclusive from TNP right exactly. here on Razor TV. But we wonder, is betting really, you know, just betting? I don't know, but I think we're too good to our viewers. We're giving like exclusives right before. Yeah. And then yeah, that's now why you got to come back to us every Friday night. Exactly. You know, at 8 PM. Every exactly. Friday night and of course pick up the <laughs> new paper, you know. How good are yeah. we? Exactly. How well, nice are we? First, uh, let us show you whether or not uh, ge- gambling is a science? Betting. Is? betting is a science. Or gambling, is, it, is, it, is it a gamble? Or is it a science? Betting? I don't, well, I don't know. Um, Do you guys think it is? Physics Logic. is a science. Physics is I a think science. it's tiring. <laughs> Oh, okay. There are people obviously who do it well. well. Our roving reporter Brian went out to find the answer. Let's take a look. This is Brian Silver for Razor TV, and I'm outside the Singapore pools here in Haugang to ask the question. Is soccer betting science or just pure luck? Come on, let's go. When you place a bet on, on like a soccer match, right? Do you need skill? Do you need to learn the match, or do you, is it, do you think it's just pure luck? It depends. Uh, sometimes you have to really have to analyze the matches, lah. Sometimes it's just luck, lah. Both. I, I feel both. Fifty percent luck, fifty percent skill. I guess it's a combination of both. Yeah. Every, everyone says both. 
Yeah, you need to analyze a bit and uh, sometimes it also depends on luck. So you also must have knowledge, lah, but you also must have luck by your side. Lah. Luck is always important there. Man. So you think it's both? Uh? Yeah, sometimes you're unlucky, even your analyze can go wrong. Man. Do you think it's helpful if, if I know more about soccer? Uh, of course. Of course. So it's better to have more knowledge than, than to just have luck? Yeah, definitely. What, what if I, I'm an unlucky guy and I study the game, you think I can still win? You're a lucky guy? Unlucky guy. Study the game yeah. and you can still win. It depends on whether you got the luck. Yeah. You can, can, can. Luck will come anytime or you won't know. <laughs> really, I never bluff you. So, so how about you? Do you do you watch soccer? Do you yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know a lot about it? I had no luck so far. Have you placed a bet on soccer before? Place, lost, no luck. So you know the match lah, but just just no luck. No luck. <laughs> yeah, and right now I'm gonna talk to a uh, soccer better. I wanna know why do you bet? It's definitely for the thrill. Um, whether the reason to make money. I've been losing money actually, so uh, that's not part of the reason. Um, it's to make the, f- the game a bit more interesting, more fun. So this is about the thrill, about making the game more interesting. It's not about getting rich. Uh, no, uh, that's that's that was the first plan, but I kind of failed halfway through. I do gamble, but not every game. The one I like, the one I enjoy, the one I can watch live. Yes, I'll gamble on it. So you're not a god of gambling in the making. Uh, I'm not a god of gambling in the making, um, but um. After three years, you, you do learn a bit. Um, there are some basics you need to know. Firstly, you need to know when to pull up when, you, when you're losing. And secondly, it's to, to play based on gut instincts. Uh. In, in terms of like EPL itself, like do you take uh, just luck decisions? For EPL, based on, uh, on my experience, if I were to bet on, uh, place a bet on menu, um, it depends on who is playing with, uh, against with. Yeah, because um, they do very well against the top four teams but they do tend to, to get a bit complacent and struggle against the bottom teams. So, usually some of them is based on uh, luck. Some of them is just um, pure gut instinct. From all, from, but luck is sort of like a gut instinct. Uh, don't you agree? Um, no, I think gut instinct is, is you, f- you follow uh, who, you, who you feel is going to win on that day, but sometimes luck, it, it, you can hit the post seven times and you're still not going to win, you know? So, it, luck is, is depends a lot on uh, a lot of things. Uh. So luck could be like you you know both of the teams or you may not know both of the teams but you just have to choose a side. Should only lah. So what you're trying to say is there's there's no foolproof scheme in, in betting on a game? Um, no, there isn't unless bribery is in it. Uh. That's the only way you can be assured that you're going to win something if someone takes the money. Uh. Apart from that, there's no way. There's no way you can predict how 22 players in the, uh, and on the field are going to think, how they're going to perform. So it's a very hard decision. Yeah. Okay, Asman, tell me, why do you bet? Uh, for fun, basically. <laughs> Not to win money? Uh, a little bit of that. Uh, extra bucks won't hurt, right? If you, if you study the matches uh, day in, day out, you study the team, study the individual players, there has to be some form of like a, a skill to place a bet. Am, am, I, am I wrong to say that? Yeah, I mean, it's true that if you follow the games, you follow the the scores, how the team does. Uh, it helps you a lot in, in the upcoming matches. Uh, especially when you bet on a certain match. Uh, we always see what are their previ- previous uh, winnings, their losses, to who, by how many. You know? So if you follow all these things, it helps you a lot uh, in making your bets. What is your, your, your uh, thought process when you, when you place a bet? Um... Well, I follow the new paper. <laughs> they got some very experienced uh, tipsters. Okay, if you, if you're so informed and you listen to all these punsters and you do your research and you're and you're in, don't you think it's a full foolproof scheme to placing a bet? Definitely not foolproof. Why? <clears throat> uh, like I said, it's 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 just your luck, lah. If your luck is good, you know, uh, whatever you touch turns to money, lah. If you had to make a choice whether soccer betting is a science or pure luck, you had to pick a choice between one, which would it be? I'll say science, man. Thank you very much, Asman. You, you know what? I tell you what. There is uh, more of a chance of winning in, in soccer betting than in 4D and all that. But I find it too tiring because you've got to do the research and, and then you start to think of too many permutations. So I agree with that guy, you know. Just buy the new paper. Has on, all the fixtures. Yeah, on Saturday, just buy the new paper. All the follow tips the tipsers. 
And if it goes wrong, I mean, I have the benefit of going back to the office and strangling Gary Lim. Exactly. It's so easy, you know. So, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. If you want to bet on soccer, either read a new paper or Ernest will strangle Gary Lim for you. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, I think it's time for a break. Yes, so. we're going to take a short break and yeah. uh, we'll be right back really yes. soon. Remember, comment, a call, tell us your favorite teams or who you're betting on. That's this right. BPL season. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. After break.